Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about hair clips. I know it seems like a simple thing. I'm sure we all have days when we want to just throw our hair up. It doesn't go, or that's the style we want, or we're just in a rush. Whatever the reason is, it's so frustrating when you throw a clip in your hair and it starts to slide and you end up with a flat on the top and you're constantly re-clipping your hair, trying to get the volume back up where you want it. You just wish it would go in in the morning and stay. So I wanted to talk to you today and show you some hair clips that hopefully will actually work for you and why the ones that you have don't work. So here are some of the clips from my collection, just a small amount of ones that I've bought that don't work and I want to show them to you and why. So this is a rounded clip. It only has teeth going down part way. It should be great for a ponytail, but unfortunately when your hair gets in there, you're only getting the teeth in the outer edges there, so the vast majority of your hair is in the middle. And with a rounded edge, your hair can slip out extremely easy and then this is going to slide down as well. There's not enough to hold it. So here's a better example of a rounded clip. So when you put, imagine it like this, and you're putting your hair in the middle, it isn't sitting flush against your scalp. And right away, there's going to be slippage, whether you have this as a ponytail or whether you have your hair up in the bun. Ones that cross over and are rounded like this are not going to be as effective in your hair. Um, that's the main problem with these types of clips is you're going to have hair that comes out of there and it's going to slide because it's not going to be sitting flush against your scalp. Now the problem with something like this is it has no teeth. Uh, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one there. This one. It has no teeth. So if you can see, it just meets. It doesn't overlap at all. So when you put that in your hair, there is no grip at all and it's just going to slide out so easily. So seeing as how none of these work, what does work? I have a couple of examples of what works. This one worked really great until I broke the one clip, but it will give you an idea. It is one that it crosses over completely and it's flat. You can see that when it would go, you know, against your hair, clipping it up into a bun or up against the back of your scalp, it's going to go flat. There's nothing crossing over making it round. So when I put my fingers in there, you can see that that goes flat against your scalp. And this is another one that works extremely well. Again, the clips cross over and they go completely flat. So there's no reason that holds really, really well. Now, the thing that could improve this clip is if it had some teeth. It doesn't have teeth, but still, this one holds way better than one that's rounded and that does have teeth. I would rather go, I'll grab for this one first because out of experience, I might like the look of this one or the color of this one, but every time I grab it, I'm disappointed and I go back to the ones that work. So it's the ones that are flat. And this is what my hairdresser has also coached me on and it's worked fabulously. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching and hopefully you won't be ripping out your hair. You'll be able to buy the clips that work for you. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you next time.